Yo guys, what is going on? It is your boy Nick from On The Foot Market. You guys are getting a double upload today because we have some important stuff to talk about. Now, the reason why you're seeing this upload is because this is something uh, that could be coming as close as the next seven days. That's why I want to get this out. I want to get this up to you guys and I want you guys... I want you guys to be ready to go. Um, I'm also going to be doing a video later this week for all of you on something that I want you guys. I'm going to make a video kind of getting a game plan of on Friday, what are some things you guys can buy during lightning rounds that are something that, that are cards that are very safe, that are cards that you guys will make coins on, and cards that you guys can get a notepad, get a, get a document, do something where you have an agenda of, hey, I'm going to go buy these cards during lightning rounds on Friday. So I'm going to have that for you guys as well that will be a video coming out this week the reason why i like to get these videos out within a few days of notice uh so you guys all have the chance to watch it i know you guys have busy lives and things like that and so you guys just are ready and kind of have the mental preparement uh for upcoming things so without further ado we are going to be talking today about team of the week 10 sbc now guys i will warn you right now team of the week 10 was my worst uh team of the week last year for investing we all invested uh and we just we all lost coins so we're not going to be investing in the upcoming Team of the Week 10, and I will have my uh, Team of the Week predictions with Jamie out on the channel. Uh, for Economist, we will be doing those like we always do. Last week, we really did well, so we're going to see how we can do this week. But Team of the Week is not looking that strong, but I still think EA will find a way to throw some players in there and bring out a really, really good Team of the Week. So I'm going to be talking to you guys today about the Team of the Week 10 Guarantee SBC from last year, so you guys know uh, what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys over to Footpin, uh, and we are going to go look at Team of the Weeks. So... If you guys don't know what a Team of the Week 10 Guarantee SBC is, uh, it is a repeatable SBC uh, that comes out and it gives you a chance of packing a Team of the Week player. So if, you, if, if you're new to FIFA, um, that's what it is. It is something that comes out in the Squad Building Challenge tab and it's an SBC that allows you to put a certain formula of players in to make uh, a, a Team of the Week pack and then you have a chance at packing any player from that given Team of the Week. Uh, now... It all depends on how EA releases it. Um, sometimes they release it as Team of the Week player, and then other times, uh, other times they can uh, they can they can release it as uh, a general Team of the Week pack. I'm not sure how they're going to do it, um, but nonetheless, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it. So, what I would expect, guys, is I would expect this to come out. I don't know what the Team of the Week is going to be, but look, there's two things that's going to happen. And the reason why they do this, by the way, guys, is it's because it's a coin suck. At the end of the day, people lose coins, but they're so addicted to packs that they do this. Um, so what I would expect is that it will come out. Now, there's a chance, there's a small chance if Team of the Week is terrible, they may release one that's Team of the Week 1 to 10, which would be any, a chance at any player from the first 10 Team of the Weeks uh, for a certain squad. So last year, I want to give you guys the heads up. I want to talk you guys through what they required last year. Um, so what they required last year, if we go to foot 18 players and we search 83s, uh, let's go, let, yeah, uh, let's go 84s. So last year, off the top of my head, I know for a fact, and I just did some background checking before I made this video for you guys. Um, last year, what they did require was they required, they had an untradeable one that was 84 rated, no uh, no team of the week or any requirements, 84 rated, uh, 30 chemistry. So you could just put in 84 rated players. And so the cheapest 84 rated players go up in value. The tradable one was 84 rated, two team of the week players, 30 chemistry. So you had to slot in two discard informs into there. And that's why I want you guys to rock into this promo with discard informs. And we'll talk about what else I want you to rock with. So I want to show you guys a guy like Ada Ruiz. Last year was the cheapest 84. Um, and I want to show you guys what happens to him during Black Friday. So as you guys can see, and what I will do to, to, to kind of to make this all very easy for you guys to go and watch. Uh, we're going to put this as, we'll go up to 1220. So you guys can see right here, this is when the uh, SBC comes out. I believe it came out on a Saturday. Um, and then over time, as you guys can see, as long as the SPC was out, the 84 is really high. Um, so 84 stayed really high the whole week. This was a guy who went to 7,000 coins uh, as an 84 rated. Most 84 rated guys, uh, because that was the specific rating, because that was a specific rating last year, they just absolutely uh, flew in value. You guys can see Danny Alves was 7,000 coins, and I think it was a center back formation. So even Danny Alves as a right back wasn't great. And then if you guys want, what I can do is I can take you guys over uh, to 83 rated uh, to talk to you guys about um, the 83 rated squad because 83 rated as well were necessary last year. Um, so what I will do is I'll go pull, pull up that stuff with you guys. I believe 83 rated, rated last year went to 4,000 coins. I'm not positive, uh, but I believe last year that 83 rated went to 4,000 coins. I cannot confirm that. We're going to confirm it right now, but I do think they went very high. At least 
the three to four K. And the reason why I don't think they went as high, where is it? November, boom. So they went to about four K. So you guys could have invested before the event at about two thousand coins and they went up to about four thousand coins. Now, I'm not saying that that is gonna happen this year. That that's gonna 100%. Look, I'm not even gonna say on the record, guys. I'm not even gonna tell you guys that this SPC is totally coming out this year. Uh, it may not come out. It may not do this. I don't see why they wouldn't do it because it's easy and it's good content. Like I don't see why this company would not release this SBC. Um, but I think that I think it will come. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be 83 or 84 rated. I don't know how they're gonna do it. I think last year's was higher rated because the team of the week. If you guys saw my, uh, if you guys saw what the uh, the intro of the video was, I mean. Did you guys see the team of the week from last year? So I think the rating was so high last year because the team of the week was insane. Um, it w the team of the week last year was nuts. You had Hazard, Nangolan, Pogba, Vidal, Insigne, Icardi. This is like one of the most nuts team of the weeks I've ever seen in my life. So I think that's why the ratings were so high. Um, so how can you go about investing for this this year? And, and how can you do this? Well, I'm going to tell you guys a few things that I would start to look out for. And things, honestly, I wouldn't pick them up yet. The SBC last year came out on a Saturday. So it came out after the first... Uh, it came out after the first day of lightning rounds. I don't think this is going to come out on Friday. I think that EA used this as a kind of thing um, to make people open packs, knowing that 83s and 84s and, 80, and some 85s are up in value. And then I think they also use it as a wave to coin suck. So let's take a look right now. If we go into the market and we look at 83s, well, there's not a ton of SBCs out right now. Um, so 83s right now are honestly what price? I mean, they're about 900 coins. So they're not bad. Um, and if they did get a probably 84 rated trade repeatable SBC, you'd probably go up to two and a half to 3000 coins at some point during the week. Would I buy these now? I don't know. I, I, this is more of a video for me to tell you guys. I would like you guys to have your eyes on 83s during lightning rounds on Friday. I think that a lot of golds on Friday are just going to die. Um, I really, really feel this way, guys. I feel like golds on Friday are just going to have a very, very big problem <clears throat> staying high in price. So I would consider getting 83s on Friday and trying to pay literally 700 coins for them. I think 700, 750 coins, that's probably the price that you guys want to pay. Very, very safe. At that price, you can't really go wrong. And then if we go look at 84 rated, uh, 84 rated right now are 2,500. So 84 rated are a little bit on the higher edge. If you guys go look at graphs and things like that, I mean, 84 rated right now are a little bit higher than they have been. They were about 1,000 coins the other week, and now they're about 2,500. So again, I would probably wait with 84s until friday i would i would take your time guys and i don't feel like you need to really go rush and rush into this and go buy this stuff now i'm just kind of making this video because i want you guys to be ready and i want to prepare you guys for the possibility of an SBC like this i think it's important for you guys to understand the value of an SBC like this and what what you can do investing wise to make uh to make coins honestly i think this is a very good way for a lot of you guys to make coins i think that this is something that almost it's something where i would figure i would prioritize and i'll do a future video on this but i would prioritize on friday like literally picking up one of every single one of these kind of guys um, and putting them in your club on Friday and then you're ready to go on Saturday and Sunday. And hey, right, if it doesn't come out, you picked up 83s and 84s for the cheapest they've been in months. So it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't matter if it doesn't come out. You guys are still in with great, great card investments that you made. So that's the first thing I would do. The next thing I would do is I would start to keep your eye on informs. Um, informs right now, what is the cheapest that we can get on? Uh, what is the cheapest you can get? So the cheapest inform right now is 11 to 12,000 coins. Usually when you get an SBC like this for the tradable side of things, when the tradable requires an inform, uh, you guys usually will see informs probably climb to about 15,000 coins minimum. Usually all informs, no matter what kind of rating, all go to about 14, 15,000. So it's minimal profits, but something like at 11 or, or 10 or 11. And during lightning rounds on Friday, when whatever's in team of the week, is the, all the informs are going to go to discard. There's going to be some crazy, crazy cheap prices uh, for some team of the week cards. They are going to go low. So keep your eye on that because a lot of the cards in the next team of the week that's upcoming may go very, very low on Friday. So I think there's definitely an opportunity for you guys on Friday to get in with those discard informs, to get in with those 83, 84s. I don't see EA not doing it. They did it in FIFA 17. Uh, they did it in FIFA 18. So I don't know why it would change where this year they wouldn't drop this SBC. It would only make sense to me that they continue the tradition of doing a team of the week 10 uh, repeatable SBC. Now, it's going to be very dependent, and I'll tell you guys this. It will be very dependent if the difference is, is the team of the week good or not? If it's a good team of the week and this drops, these cards, 83s, 84s, and discard informs will go higher. There's also another variable. If they drop it as the tradable as a team of the week tradable, where you can save it for other weeks, or if they drop it as a team of the week 10 upgrade. So if it's only for that team of the week. I'm not sure what they will do. Usually they do a scenario where the untradable is the upgrade. So it's only for that team of the week. And then the tradable you can save for any other team of the week. If the tradable remains that you can save that pack for any other team of the week, 
it will put a larger value on these 83s and 84s and these discard informs because people will use these SPCs to save for another week to try to make profit off of it, which I will probably do as well, um, being that the SPC is an affordable price. So this is going to be a really good way and a good priority thing for you guys to go and do on Friday um, to make sure that you guys are in with, you have a strategy, you have a game plan of something you guys are going to go do on Friday. Um, I have basically liquidated a lot of my 83s and 84s right now. And I just wanted you guys to have the heads up. I've kind of gotten out of a lot of these cards, the 82, 83, 84s, this kind of stuff, because I feel like right now they're actually not at a bad price to sell at. Now, obviously, 83 is down at 900. All that stuff is not, is not. You shouldn't sell that stuff. But I think I think you have a very big opportunity on Friday to reinvest in a lot of stuff, in a lot of this stuff. So that's why you guys are probably watching me. I'm not really investing right now. I'm more making this video for you guys to have a game plan of some things you guys can do on Friday to make some pretty good coins. I think that this is going to be something that. If it does come, you guys bank, you guys make coins. If it doesn't come, it doesn't matter, right? Like, you, it's whatever. Like, it doesn't come, you still went on Friday during lightning rounds and you picked up the cheapest 83s, the 84s, and all that kind of stuff. So, I think this is something by no means should you ignore. You should totally take action from this video. Not today, but you should consider looking into this stuff um, and investing in this stuff. I think there's no going wrong with this stuff. I really think that this is something that you guys can make profit off of. And that's why I would make this video. I'm not going to make this video just to make a video. I'm making this video because I feel like it is something that if you prioritize and you do it right, you guys can make some good coins on. So thank you to everybody for watching the video today. You guys know I love you, man. Bless up. Everybody have a good Monday. Uh, and I will see you guys in a video very soon. Peace out.